Mocking allegations of racial discrimination in a Memphis cotton gin. Two men filed charges against the Atkinson Cotton Warehouse. They're accusing their former supervisor of calling them monkeys and saying the water fountain and microwave are for white people only. WREG's Sabrina Hall is live with the former employees who say they have proof of the abuse. Sabrina. Yeah, one of the employees says he was so sick of the abuse, he decided to record some of it one day so people would actually believe that this was going on. The cotton industry's history reminds some of slavery. Antonio Harris. I was a forklift operator. And Mario Mangrove. You'll be like... Uh, you need to think like a white man. See, their former supervisor at Atkinson Cotton Warehouse was stuck in the past. He could pull his clothes down in front of him, told him to kiss his white tail. And Antonio says after months of racist comments and feeling powerless. Hey, black boy, get over there and get my cotton. He decided to use his phone as a weapon to fight back. He recorded his attempt to drink water from a fountain in the warehouse office. Hey, I need to put a sign in some white people on it. He recorded his attempt to use the microwave. Larry been there 10, 20 years, and he's a black guy also. In the recording, the supervisor also talks about the days where blacks and whites were kept separate. But back then, nobody thought anything about it. Everybody is making fun of the about 30 seconds later in the recording, listen to this. Put your sign on the water then, because I'm finna drink it. <laughs> what they do when they kiss me drinking your water? I think about this every day. Every day of my life. Antonio and Mario filed a discrimination charge with the EEOC, which is now mediating with the cotton gin's owner about a possible settlement. Antonio says it's not about the cotton industry. I worked for a cotton company for a 12 years, and they never did nothing like that to me. He says it's about a man. He wasn't just an employee. He was the supervisor, the head supervisor. Who left lasting and painful memories with two workers just trying to support their families.